going on guys welcome back to another video today we have um something a little special these things are brand new um we have a little box over here that i got in the mail today and um this has two lures in it that are pretty important they just came out like this week or last week i think last week but um i think all we should do is just open these things up and then go fishing we're not going to go into too much detail i'm just going to show you guys a little bit about them compare them to the other one and then we're going to tie it up and we're going to go fish with them but we have two of the guggen squad popping frogs i have a black one and a white one these are my two favorite frog colors um probably going to be throwing the white one today because if you guys can tell it is a it's a little stormy kind of cloudy so you know the white would show up a lot better black is usually those bluebird skies so like really blue skies but black usually is my favorite color in these frogs but honestly, the white and the popping looks really good, and I really hope this thing catches some fish today. Our goal, I'm going to say, is two fish, you know, just because we're going to set it low and hope for higher results. But, you know, two is the main goal because it's kind of the middle of the day right now, and we just got to catch the frog fish, you know. This, this video is basically on them. So, you know, we're just going to have to do a little bit of fishing with them and then a few catching with them, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm probably going to start off with the white frog today just because of the sky throwing it on some 50 pound braid so um i'm actually draining the boat right now because a big storm came through last night I actually filmed yesterday and i was checking the weather to see if i should pull the plug because i was going to film this video in the morning but a huge storm came through wasn't on the weather app and now the boat's flooded with water so draining that out about to tie up these little popping frogs and we're about to get out and do some fishing all right, first things first, we gotta open up the little box they come in and grab the frog out. This will be my first time ever holding this frog. I have seen it before this. Um, it looks really good in the water. I already know it looks really good. But um, yeah, look at this thing. Got the little popping bill right here with the green. The green and the white looks so nice to me. Right here, we have the regular filthy frog. As you guys can see, this one kind of has like a little point to help it walk this is just popping so it has this giant little oval i guess you could say right there and um yeah we have both of the filthy frogs right here i have both a white and a black of each so yeah but one thing i noticed is the popping frog is a little bit wider and longer than the regular filthy frog but they look about the same just the the head on this one's built a little bit bigger just because you know the popping right there but um other than that hooks everything is basically the same guess we're about to tie these up and um we're about to throw around the little guggen squad popping frog so i'll see you guys on the boat all right so we have the guggen squad popping filthy frog right here this is the um the white color so you know i'm about to throw this thing around hopefully we get a few bites also there is a storm somewhere over there but um yeah if you guys do not or have never fished a popping frog basically there's a few ways you can fish them first first and probably the most recognizable way is definitely popping it see like look at the look at the guggen squad frog right here i pop it look at the giant little thing it gives off now you can you can pop it multiple different ways so you can pop it lightly or you can just pop it like that and it makes a little hula popper effect which is basically a little bubble around the frog but you can, you can work it really slow now when i first saw these things they were announced but they were not on anywhere you could get them but i did recognize a feature with these things that i really thought was interesting in my opinion the popping frogs walk better than the filthy frogs it sounds crazy but i honestly think it's true these things walk really good the popping ones do really good with walking and i mean so does the filthy frog just the regular version but i mean i think the popping one just gives off more of a little bit of a walk and a pop so you get the best of both worlds with this frog all right we're basically 360 degrees surrounded by storm so that's cool so maybe we can get a few frog bites but i mean i guess we're just gonna have to wait and find out here no i think this thing may walk better because it takes less time to go back to where it needs to be like with the regular filthy frog once you pop it it just kind of glides this one already has water in the little popping spot right here so it really doesn't have to move back to where it needs to be to walk so i feel like that's why 
this thing is really good at walking. All right, maybe we'll get lucky and the storm will miss us. I doubt it, but you know, we're just gonna let it kind of just happen. Whatever happens, happens at this point. If you guys ever have one of these and you wanna pop it kind of like how I am, what I'm doing is I'm popping it, it kind of turns to the side, you just do a light little crank and it just faces it right back towards you and then you're ready to pop it again. Oh my gosh, he has it. There we go. Oh my gosh, no, he ran me into a tree. Are you kidding me? I don't even think he has it. He just took it and ran me into a tree. That's so nice. I wonder if he's still on. There's no way he's still on. No, I see the frog wrapped on a tree. Really? Why the fish gotta do me dirty like that? Why do they gotta do me dirty like that? Come on, really? That was dirty. That was messed up. Me and that fish cannot be friends. Out here where I fish, the fish are really active on noise. They hit buzz baits all the time. Stuff like that. I mean, whenever they hear noise, they, they tune in on these things. So that's kind of why I'm popping it and not walking it, you know. I fished the filthy frog out here. There's no need to sit here and walk it around, you know. Might as well test out the popping part. So it is a little dark back there, but we're chilling. All right. If anything happens, it's going to be interesting because I'm going to have to try to figure out how to get on the land. But right now we're good. We're good. All right, froggy, froggy out. Here we go. Got to get that loud pop. Just gotta let them know you're here. That's the thing. Oh my gosh. He missed it. No, he didn't. There we go. There we go. That's a nice frog. Fish right there. Come on. Thank you for eating the Guggen Squad popping frog. No! Are you kidding me? <sighs> I really hate these fish right now. How? How did that? Am I the like most unluckiest person with topwater baits? Like, cause I feel like I am, especially frogs. Oh my god! He let go of it. I I I'm I'm I. Mmm. Mmm. That was a good one too. Okay. Reason I missed that fish. It was really tight and he just started taking it right there and he just pulled it out of his own mouth. There we go. Just don't come off at the boat. No, oh yeah. All right, well, he fell back in, that's cool. I, I, I am just lost for words right now. I flipped him and he got out. He spit the hook again. At least he landed in the boat this time, but he fell in the water. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. He, he missed it. Are you kidding? How is it that difficult to miss? Did he miss it? I don't think he did. There we go. He, he had it the whole time. I just couldn't feel it because... Okay, so I think the storm may have changed directions. Could be wrong. All right, Poppin' Frog. We, we really need you right here. We need you just, just to get destroyed like you've been doing, but me just to not screw up the hook set. I don't know if I'm messing it up or it's just I'm very unlucky. I'm saying the unlucky part because I don't know how I'd miss them. I mean, they're getting hooked. They just are not staying pinned. It's it's really dark back here. It's, that's my only worry here. But I looked on the radar. It showed my little blue dot, and I wasn't in the rain. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting my life in the hands of this radar so it better not be incorrect oh i'm out oh gosh 
cheese. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. I was so scared it hit the water, I jumped up and threw my rod down. I'm a moving target right now. That's great. Well, you see, right here is, is not bad. And then it just straight darkness. So I thought I was all right. I was like, okay, it's just going to keep moving. <laughs> no, wrong I was. Now that I'm like back, I can really see how dark that cloud was. And I was like right underneath that. All right, just a little update. What the plan is, is to get off the boat, do a little bit of waiting, let this giant storm pass or go that way more. And then I'll probably get back on and do a little bit more fishing because it's only like right over here. Like right over here is perfectly clear, but right there is just, it's not good at all. And we just saw that firsthand, so. Get me off of this floating depth trap. Psych, I ain't getting back on that until that giant cloud right there is gone. Yeah, I'm really not liking this. The wind is now coming towards me. And I keep feeling cold and hot things of air. That That's what forms the tornado. Not that it's going to. But the cloud looks a lot closer than it was a few minutes ago. All right, we just got off the boat. It's getting kind of dark. You know, the storm kind of came through. Sun going down. Kind of set us off time. Kind of threw the fishing off too. But the Guggen Poppin' Frogs were actually really cool. Um, it was my first time using them. And um, they did not disappoint. The only thing that disappointed was my terrible frog luck. If you guys have stuck with the channel, you know that I used to not like frogs. Then I started using them, really liked them. Sometimes I'll catch fish, but most of the time my frog luck is terrible and they never get hooked. But that wasn't the problem today. They got hooked, they just got off. But the Guggen Popping Frogs are out now. These things are really nice. I really liked them. I have the white one still on and the black one right here. If you guys want to see anything with this black one, make sure you drop it down below in the comments. Also, if you have any video ideas, drop them down below in the comments. I want to do a few videos that you guys would like to see out here on the John boat. And um, I have no clue what this stuff is. If you can maybe see that. It's just like weird stuff on the water. I don't know. I guess it happened after it rained or stormed. I, I have no clue. But anyways, I think the rain really messed with the fishing after when we came back. But we did get to fish with these things and try them out. And I really liked them. I think I might like them more than the regular ones. But if you guys are new and you haven't subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one.